Good morning. Today is July 11th, the seventh Sunday after Pentecost, and the second Sunday of Summer Bible Series 2021. Welcome to St. John's United Church. Let us begin our gathering with responsive psalm from our Voices United hymn book, Psalm 27. God is my light and my salvation, whom then shall I fear? When the wicked close in uh, to devour me, if an army should encamp against me, my heart shall not be afraid. One thing I have asked of God, for which I long, that I may dwell in God's house all the days of my life. For in the time of trouble, you will give me shelter. And now you have raised my head above my enemies round about me. Hear my voice, O God, when I call. Have mercy and answer me. Your face, O God, I seek. Do not cast me off or forsake me, O God, my Savior. Teach me your way, O God. Do not give me off to the will of my enemies. I believe that I shall see God's goodness in the land of the living. Join me in opening prayer. Wisdom of God, we awaken, and the day calls to us. We gather here, and your spirit calls to us. When we worship, we experience the world as you experience it. Amen. Our opening hymn from Voices United, number 657, He Leadeth Me.
scripture reading this morning is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel is saved by the Lord with everlasting salvation. You shall not be put to shame or confounded to all eternity. Today is the second Sunday focusing on a Christian basic, and I like to stay on the same topic, salvation, like last week, based on, again, the same book, Speaking Christian, written by Marcus Borg. Last week talked about the first major framework shaping the biblical meaning of salvation in the Jewish experience and history from the, their experience of Exodus. The second major framework shaping the biblical meaning of salvation is the Jewish experience of exile in the sixth century BCE. It began when the Babylonians conquered and destroyed Jerusalem in 582 BCE and took many of the survivors into exile in Babylon. There, like their ancestors in Egypt, centuries earlier, they were opposed, impoverished, and powerless. The exile lasted for about 50 years more than two full generations. In those days, one generation was about 20 years. And ended when Persia conquered Babylon and the Persian Emperor Cyrus decreed that the exiled could return to their homeland. In this context of exile and return, salvation as return from exile was developed. For them, salvation was coming home safely in real life in history. The second Isaiah, starting chapter 40 to an ending 55 abounds with the world's salvation, saved and savior. The first two, salvation and saved, are combined in today's reading, Isaiah chapter 45, verse 17. Israel is saved by the Lord with everlasting salvation when they returned home. This faith statement was done, was made by those who experience exiles and return home. I remember my father, who was a Presbyterian church minister in South Korea over 33 years. He interpreted August 15, 1945, as the day of salvation and liberation, which was the day Korea became an independent country from the Japanese colonization over 36 years. Of course, with the help of allies, and particularly United States of America. So my father's generation who experienced the colonization by Japan and a liberation with the help of the United States and allies. For my father and their generation, United States of America was a savior. You, you know what I mean? Not my generation, but my father's generation.
Particularly in history, I, I believe all, all, knew, all, all of you know the history, two atomic bomb blowing out in Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 1945, July 1945. A lot of historians today, it's a tragic event in history, but for more, most Koreans, I mean almost all Koreans, that's the day of salvation. Because after that atomic bomb, many Koreans colonized and are living like a slave in Japan. And I don't know if you are familiar with the name Comfort Woman at war area, came back home safely. Let me read. Let me read Isaiah chapter 43, verses 1 to 4. Again, this is kind of Bible study time. So if you have Bible at home, grab it and open it. Isaiah chapter 43. But now thus says the Lord, He who created you, Jacob, He who formed you, Israel, Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. Through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. Just note, how God as Savior is associated with the real life and journey of the people of Israel. Their journey of exile and returning home. I believe most of them had to walk, cross the river, climb up to the mountains. And I, I was there. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as your ransom, Ethiopia and Sheba in exchange for you, because you are precious in my sight, and honored, and I love you. I give people in return for you, nations in exchange for your life. The release from exile, a journey of return, God's presence and love through their life journey, all are the meaning of Savior, salvation, and saved. There's nothing about going to heaven or eternal life, according to the book of Old Testament. I personally interpret uh, my life and our life in general, you know, everyone's life in here on earth, from birth to death as a, a kind of exile, kind of exile. Those who have lived in the same town where they were born, may not really be touched what I'm saying at this time, that life is a journey and an exile. A person who was born in a small town in South Korea, made, I made uh, three major movings before coming to Canada, and at least six movings for 28 years in Canada. And during those new uh, moving, 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 I tried to, tried to make home wherever I was settled in. And I had opportunity to go back to Korea several times for the past two decades. But now I, I, I'm in uh, trouble. 
Yes. You know, when I returned to Korea, my recent travel, um, I don't feel that is my home anymore. They treat me, I mean, my hometown people treat me as a Canadian. Here in Canada, quite often, I feel I'm, I'm you know, a foreigner, although I, I'm a Canadian citizen. So my, this, this is my ontological question. Where is my home? My journey cannot be compared with the journey and history of Israel in the Bible, but some passages from Psalm comforts me, which I'd like to share with you. The first one, Psalm 27, which we read uh, today responsibly, verse 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? Yes, whenever I move from one place to, to another, that is my, I need such, such light and such salvation. The Lord is my light. I am lowly and in pain. Let your salvation, O God, protect me. Psalm 69, verse 29. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. Psalm 118, verse 21. I'd like to add up at the end of that sentence here and now. During the season of Lent 2021, one of church members shared her story of near-death experience with us. It is another time, another opportunity for us to share our story of faith, our salvation story in real life, in real journey with our children, and after children in order to encourage it, to taste real, real salvation here and now. Amen and amen. There's another opportunity to, to share your ministry with St. John's United Church by sending your offering to, uh, through Canada Post on our webpage and e-transfer to St. John's United Church. Please join me. Uh, it is not colored with yellow, but I invite you to say the words uh, together. Let us pray. Gracious God, you always give to us far more than we can ever give to you. We give you our lunch, and you give us your bread and the living water that rests forever so that we will never hunger or thirst again. We pray that you will bless our gifts to you and multiply them for your use. Amen. The closing hymn from More Voices, number 161, I have called you by your name.
benediction. God loves you. God provides for you. God in three persons knows you. May the love of our Creator, the Holy Spirit, and the risen Christ be with you now, all week and in all ways. Go in peace, faith, and love. Amen. <laughs>